hello. Looks purely decorative. There's a bottle of molding resin here. Might be useful. Okay, doing alright for the item pickup. Elevator. Nice big plant. lemon. Small miracle to see it grow to that size under these conditions. That is a big lemon. Nice big lemon. Small miracle to see it grow to that size under these conditions. I wonder if I can use the knife on it to get the lemon. That action doesn't seem productive to me. You sure about that? I don't see how those things work together. Okay. Well, I do, but, you know, fine. No, I'm not tired. Maybe later. I'm not that hungry. It looks like you need to clean the damn thing. Ugh! Okay, spared filing cabinet, small robot. Doesn't appear to be functional. There's not even a switch or anything. Okay. I don't think extra strength helps there. I think it does. Rip the doors open. I don't think extra strength helps there. Oh, for goodness sake, get me out of the lobby. <laughs> right. Well, I suppose we head to the canteen then for now. I think we exhausted all our options in the clinic anyway. We could go to the school, but I don't think we need to go there. Patron, patron. Weekend's coming up. Great, huh? Looks like you've got a head start. All shoes repaired, all coats patched up. That's when you call it a day. Finish your work fast and you get the best food rations. Oldest trick in the book. I get it. Well, enjoy your time off. Oh, okay. Looks like Tools. an old filing cabinet. Not sure what it's used for. Well, how about you open up the drawers and we'll have a look. Various handbooks for the typical day-to-day -day stuff. Nope, okay. Looks Tool like cabinet. it's filled with different kinds of spare parts. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Gotta rest my mind, stranger. I have a long weekend shift ahead of me. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your time off. He's a suspect. Right. Let's see if Carl's been in here recently. Nope. What about Maya? Fine. Boot prints. That's a no. And it doesn't look like anything in here was used to stab anybody recently. A that hits the back of me. Matching cutlery is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> a few identical coffee cups. They don't look quite as clean as they should be. Grim. Three plastic trays. Good number. Service entrance. I think they deliver groceries through there. Yeah, let's go and have a look. All right, we'll head to the balcony. Smoking man. Hey, I'm Vera Englund, special agent. Oh, I heard about you. I'm Rolf, the plant master of Nordsen. A plant master? What's that? A foreman of sorts. I oversee a team of gardeners who tend to our shared crops. Got it. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Go right ahead. I think we found our man that will tell us where the saffron lies. Do you happen to know where saffron is grown in Nordson? Perhaps, perhaps. What would this gentleman have to gain from that piece of information? Please, now is not the time. Don't you want justice for the two murder victims? Let's just say I'll be your friend for a while, buddy. You wouldn't want it any other way. This behavior suggests that you are a hustler, one with scruples and low supply. <laughs> Cooperating would make sure your business is left alone. This behavior suggests that you are a hustler, one with scruples and low supply. Cooperating would make sure your business is left alone. Ah, uh, read me loud and clear, officer. It's <laughs> agent. Or special agent, not officer. That's a police rank. <sighs> Whatever you say, agent. Now, uh, two places come to mind. The greenhouses to the south, 
and a few crops near Mimir Road. Mimir Road? Where's that? North of the town square. Look for two large farming robots standing around. All right, got it. Well, that's good to know. What do you know about the murder of Carl Oskarsson? Almost nothing. I just heard half an hour ago. Damn shame. What do you know about the murder in the museum? Nothing but the talk of the town. That Maya Strand was stabbed by some maniac. Indeed, stabbed she was. Let's see what he... Uh, uh, let's, let's find out his opinions on some of these people, Did shall we? Did you know Carl Oskarsson? Not really. But like many other people, we had some contact in our work. Okay. What was your impression of him? Nice guy. Too nice. I'd even go so far as to call him gullible. Wouldn't be surprised if that's what got him killed. That's so. You think he trusted the wrong person? I'm just thinking out loud here. But yeah, it wouldn't be a shocker. Okay. What's your opinion on Gabriel? The cop? Can't say I enjoy his company. Last time we met, he gave me a couple of nasty bruises. Resisting arrest? <laughs> That'd certainly be how he'd justify it. Uh, probably because you were resisting arrest, you fiend. Let's get this up and running just in I'm case. I'm trying to find a woman that Carl Oskarsson was involved with. Know anything about that? No, I don't stay updated on gossip like that. Well, that's just not very helpful, is What's it? What's your opinion on Commissary Anderson? For a chief of police, he's all right. He's actually fair, unlike some of his underlings. How so? You think they're harassing you? Absolutely. friggin lootly One little mistake, those guys start hounding you night and day. <laughs> what do you think of Stina Ruth? I have no idea who that is. Did you know Maya Strand? A bit. She approached me a few months back about refining edible plants into a nutrient paste. I helped her plant some quality fungi for it in exchange for a cut of the harvest. Then she got herself killed, so I guess all of that was a waste of time. That's a morbid way of looking at it. I guess so. I'm sorry about what happened to her, but I still gotta eat. Damn, man. Have a care. What do you think of Dr. Pearson? I'm trying to stay far away from that wisecracking quack. <laughs> quack? You heard me. All I need in terms of medicine, I find in herbs and plants. And Dr. Pearson doesn't take kindly to that? He should mind his own business, is all. Interesting. Okay, that's all I need. Alrighty, see you around. Oh, I meant to ask him about all these fancy things. Let's, uh, let's turn that off. A few more things, Rolf. Yeah, just a few more. I don't need to know his opinion on that. Yes, you do. I don't want to share that with him. Y yes, you do. Any idea of what this opens? Not a clue. Useless. What do you make of this? Not sure, but about the first day I came to Nordsund, I think the police have records of when people come and go. Ah, might be worth a follow-up. Thanks. Uh, I'll double check that. Do you know that. who these people are? Damn, that's bloody. Looks like Carl Oskarsson, but I couldn't say who the woman is. Well, I'm shocked. Okay, that's all I need. Alrighty. See you around. Alright, so let's go back to the police station then, see whether or not I can get more information on who come into town recently. I couldn't get that information before Robot? though, to be fair. Drilling machine? Space rocket? I have no idea, honestly. Oh dear. Right, so that is now to Mimir Road. That action doesn't seem productive to me. How does it not? I don't think I need to look him up. I don't need to look that up. Okay. I don't see how that can be looked up. But... 
Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Files. Just lots of case files. Looks like a logbook. Maybe Anderson records his daily work there. So where would I find out the day-to-day? -day... Hang on. I had a few questions, Commissary. By all means. What do you make of this? Not sure. But if you need to know when somebody came to town, I'd suggest looking in the citizens' records behind me. Right. I might do that if I could figure out who wrote this note. Ah. Uh, okay, so I do actually have to That's figure out I who needed. wrote the note first. Well. Right, well, we know we've got to go to Mimir Road, so let's go and do that. Let's stop beating around the bush. We've got Saffron to examine. Impossible boot prints. This is Mamir Road. Carl came through here recently. Good grief, that is a big rock, rock, robot, and a smaller robot. Replica of prospecting, surveying, and defense robot, courtesy of Nordson Museum. Replica of multi purpose cultivation robot, courtesy of Nordson Museum. Okay, right. What what areas do we have here? So we've got doorways for days. North Town Banner. More runes. Seems to be a common thing in Nordson. Indeed. We've got clay, crops, 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 crops. Right, let's bust out the forensic scanner. We're looking for a boot print. Those are saffron crocuses. Yes. You would, wouldn't you? Okay. Okay, so we know he was here then. Budget. Okay, well, damn it, I accidentally skipped more dialogue. That's frustrating. Uh, Lettuce, what we got here? carrots, and something else. Not sure what those are. Doesn't look like tomatoes, at least. Right, so we know the boot prints lead up to the apartment hallway. Let's check out the clay first. Got some clay. For whatever reason, we now have clay. Oh, this floor sure looks squeaky clean. It better. We spent all yesterday mopping it. it wiped all the doors, too. Oh, Shit. Just my luck. Well, are you fond of filth or something? <laughs> no, but filth contains valuable information for a detective. <laughs> uh, a colleague from my city cop days would certainly say so. Major clean freak, that one. In this case, yes. Official police matter. Don't clean this hallway until further notice. Uh, yeah. Eh, we'll go for the funnier <laughs> option. A colleague from my city cop days would certainly say so. Major clean freak, that one. The guy wouldn't allow me anywhere near his desk. Totally gave OCD a new name. <laughs> well, my condolences, miss. Okay. So, I don't think we're going to find anything with the uh, scanner here. Rats. Ah, nuts. Well, looks like we're going to be asking some questions. 
Let's bust out the biometric scanner just in case. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm Special Agent Anglin, here to investigate the recent murders. I need to ask you a few questions. Okay, I'm Sven, the caretaker of this apartment block here. What can I help you with? Okay. First of all, let's get his opinions on people. Eh, well, no, we'll start off with the notes. Do you know anything about the recent murder of a man named Carl? Nope. As far as I know, no Carl lives here. What about frequent visitors? Yeah, maybe. Haven't heard the name Carl, but then again, I don't socialize with the tenants. It might recognize the man if I saw him. Interesting. Do you know anything about the murder at the museum? Nothing but common knowledge. I haven't been in that part of town for a while. A shame what happened to Maya, though. She always seemed like a harmless lady to me. Can't imagine who'd want to kill her. Indeed. That's a pretty rough way to go. Do you know a certain Carl Oscarson? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. What's your opinion on Gabriel? Seems to take his job seriously. A bit on the strict side, maybe. But hey, cops gotta be tough. Now, I myself never had a run-in with the law, so that's a pure speculation on my part. <laughs> well, it seemed pretty up and up on that one. I'm looking for a young woman from around here. She's connected to Carl, the man who was murdered today. I have no idea who Carl was, so I'm not sure what you want from me. Well, are there any young women in this building? I'm looking at one. Ha ha. A tenant, obviously. Probably living alone. I've seen maybe three or four young women in this building lately, but I work in 16 buildings. Kinda hard to keep track. Fair enough. Do you know which apartments they live in? Not a clue. I usually just see them pass me by when I'm working, and they practically treat me as part of the furniture, so... That's fair. What's your opinion on Commissary Anderson? He's all right. A diplomat, I've heard. It believes in dialogue. Do you know anything about Councilwoman Ruth? Uh, she doesn't mince her words, that one. Some people take an issue with that, but I think it's refreshing. I heard she used to be a Central Bureau agent. Apparently she got her position here as some kind of retirement package. What can you tell me about Maya Strand? We were acquaintances. I'd been helping her with repairs in the museum every now and then. Okay. When was the last time you saw her? A few weeks ago. I was supposed to fix a showcase for her. Odd thing, though. Yeah? We, I saw her enter the museum from afar, but when I followed her inside, I couldn't find her. So I left the building, and then she came out the same way I did, acting all surprised, saying she'd been in there the whole time. Strange. Okay, we got some hinky afoot. Do you know Dr. Pearson? Yeah, everybody knows Doc Pearson. Kind of bookish, but I like his sense of humor. Dark and twisted, my cup of tea. <laughs> okay, let's find out what he's got to say about the clay. Uh, no, I'm not going to walk around showing people mud for no reason. Did these writers not learn anything from the Broken Sword series? Everybody's got to get shown everything here. I don't need to know his opinion on that. Yes, you do. I don't need to show him that. Would you happen to know where a key like this might fit? Looks special. Some custom-built box or something, maybe? Maybe. Thanks. Okay. What do you think of this? Looks intentionally vague, like they didn't want the wrong person to accidentally read it. Yeah, that's my guess, too. Any idea of what it means? Not really. Sorry. Do you recognize this young couple? Oh, right, that fella. You know him? Yeah, I remember him. It, most people just ignore me, but he always says hi. Nice guy. How often would you say he was here? Uh, at least on a weekly basis, but I work in many other buildings too, so it's hard to say. Got it. What can you tell me about him? Just this one thing. He came up to me and asked about the electricity in apartment 113. He wondered if it was possible to get more power. Odd. Did he say what for? No. I told him to take it up with the residential office. There are strict quotas. He said he would bring it up with the tenant, a friend of his. Okay. Do you know anything about the tenant? Nope. Discreet, whoever it is. No idea who lives there. Understood. Damn. Where can I find apartment 113 exactly? It's on this floor, just around the corner. All right. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. Okay, tenant of 113 Mamir Road. 
I don't think we need to show him anything else. Thanks. You can get back to work. Alrighty. Okay, apartment door. Nothing. Guess no one's home. Locked. Yeah, that's right. We've got some brute strength. Let's turn that off. Mm, I mean, I could attempt to kick the door in. I Let's... don't think that's the right place. I know it's not the right place, but maybe they have information. Did you think of that? No, you didn't, did you? Okay, so... Tenant of 113 Mamiya Road. Okay, now we can go to the police station and look in the records for that very address. And we might be able to get some bloody tangible information. I do like the music in this game as well. It's chill and... Okay, Gabriel's back. Does that mean the... Carl's body is in the morgue now. Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. I should let you know Carl's body has arrived, and our coroner is waiting for you in the morgue. Noted. I'll go and have a look shortly. Until then, is there anything I can help you with? Hmm. I'm trying to find the tenant of apartment 113 in Amir Road. Can you help? There are address records in the commissary's office. I'd suggest that you look there. Okay. Thanks. What do you think of Commissary Anderson? I have opinions about how he does things, but I keep those to myself. I respect the chain of command. What do you think of Stina Ruth, the councilwoman? The Commissary is the only one at the station who has any regular contact with her. But my impression of her is good. She seems like a straight-up woman. Speaks her mind. Did you know Maya Strand? Not really. I knew of her, sure. Most people in Nordson do, because of her importance to the museum. I hardly ever even saw her around, though. From what I hear, she was a bit of a recluse. What's your opinion on Dr. Pearson? Do you mean professionally or personally? Is there a difference? <laughs> I think he's a great doctor and coroner. But? Between you and me, he kind of rubs me the wrong way. All that fancy talk and those morbid jokes. It's almost like the recent deaths have cheered him up. But as I said, he does his job well. I understand. Thanks. Yeah, some people take joy in their work. His work just happens to be with dead people. <laughs> what do you know about the murder in the museum? I was first at the scene. Poor woman. Looked like she had regained consciousness after some time and tried to crawl to the door. Oh, damn. Sounds horrific. I don't envy her. I've got a locked door that I need to get through. Is there a locksmith around? We have a guy for that sort of thing, but I think he's out of town. All right, that's too bad. That's always the way, isn't it? Right. Uh, Clay. No, I'm not going to oh. walk around showing people mud for no reason. Such a missed opportunity. I found this in one of the drawers in the office. Ah, well, feel free to use it if you think it can help the case. It might what do. do you think of this? I'd stick with the gun, ma'am. <laughs> Any idea of what this key could open? Nope, but it looks small. Some kind of drawer, maybe a filing cabinet or something? Okay. All right, I'm off. Good luck out there. Right, let's head to Anderson's office. Anderson. And we shall rifle through the address records. Uh, the address. Right, uh, address of that. Katerina Berg, born February 2nd, 56 AR. Immigrated to Nordson on May 13th, 80 AR, which means she's been in Nordson for two years. Katarina I copied the information Berg. onto a loose page from my notebook. Indeed you did. I did that already. Indeed you did. Let's see if we get some information. I have a few questions, Commissary. By all means. No, this note is just a reminder to myself. I don't need to show it to anyone. Oh, fine. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? Sorry, I'm bad with names. Oh, for 
That's no. all I needed. Very well. Stop being like me. I suck with names too. And it doesn't help when the in-game characters that I'm hoping will help me are crap with names. Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. Can I be of assistance? Well, hopefully. Maybe you can tell me who this is. Do you is. know who Katarina Berg is? Doesn't sound familiar. No. I hate you. All right, I hate you I'm and everything about you. Look out there. Well, looks like we're heading to the morgue. We got another body to check out. I hope you can help the doctor finish up with the dead body soon. I think it's healthier for him to treat living people. He enjoys his work. Leave the man alone. Okay. I had some more things to ask. Shoot. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? I don't recognize that name. No. Nope. I am shocked. What are your conclusions about Carl's murder? Just like the previous case, the cause of death is blood loss due to sharp forced trauma to the upper body. The murder weapon looks similar to the one used on the previous victim. The victim has a bruised chest, likely from the impact of a hard fall to the floor. And this makes me believe that Carl was attacked from the front and fell to the ground, twisting as he fell. The killer then continued this brutal onslaught from behind to finish the job. Contrary to the previous case, I couldn't find any defense wounds on the victim. The killer would have to be both strong and fast to overpower Carl like that before he could react and call for help. It's certainly not impossible, but I think it's unlikely that a woman could pull that off without considerable training. This leads me to believe that the person we are looking for is likely an adult male in good physical shape. The time of death was sometime late last night, around 10 to 12 hours ago. All right, now that you've seen both bodies, do you have a theory? I think it's very likely that a single perpetrator is responsible for both killings. The MO is the same and the murder weapons share close similarities. Both murders were premeditated. The killer came well prepared with the clear goal of killing each victim. The lack of struggle during the second attack could be an indication that the murderer learned from their mistakes during the first assault. Okay, thanks for your input. Think nothing of it, happy to help. And there we go. What are your conclusions about Maya's murder? Most obvious first. The cause of death is acute blood loss due to the multiple stab wounds to the chest and stomach, two of which were lethal. Oh, wait. The murder weapon is a midden. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. I couldn't recover any biological traces of the murderer. There's no blood on her that isn't hers, or any traces of skin under her nails. This makes me suspect that the killer likely wore protective clothing and gloves. The time of death was roughly 20... Okay, yeah, we did get that uh, info. Let's ask him about lock So there's door. this locked door that I'm trying to get through. Unless this door needs medical attention, I'd suggest asking someone else. I am shocked that you didn't learn lock picking. Uh, no. Ever use something like this? I haven't, no. Well, that's enough questions for now. Okey some, medical, dokey. some medical professional you are. I already examined the body at the crime scene. Nothing new comes to mind. Okay, I'll be the judge of that. Right, well, Carl's bio. Pretty much indicative of what we already know. All right, fair enough. So the game knows better than me. Yeah. I hope you can help the doctor. Okay, well, nothing much happening there then. So. We need to find out who this Katrina is. But we've been able to get both bodies examined, which is always handy. Um, I think, however, that's probably where I'm going to leave it for this evening because I'm feeling somewhat 
tired. So, when we return, we'll find out what's going on uh, with these murders. Katerina Berg, born February 2nd, 56 AR. Immigrated to Nordson on May 13th, 80 AR, which means she's been in Nordson for two years. Somebody around here must know who that is, and we will find that out in the next installment. But for now, folks, y'all take it easy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Oh, and also, thank you once more to Blackstorm Dragon for giving me the funds to be able to pick up this uh, wonderful little game. I'm thoroughly enjoying it so far. The the artwork, dialogue, and uh, yeah, just the the general feel of the game is really good. I quite uh, yeah, I very much like it. And this whole murder mystery thing has me quite intrigued. So I look forward to continuing it with you soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.